Hello friends and hope you all are doing good. So welcome to this ninth session of the Terraform basics. So currently we are covering the variables and in the past video we uh, covered the variables part one and this is the part two in which we are going to discuss about the meta uh, arguments that is the count. In the further video we will also cover the other meta arguments but in this video i am going to cover the meta argument count only okay so to, just to make you understand that how the things we can simplify in a better way so we are going to generate our plan also after that the plan will uh, we will going to apply okay accordingly so in this session we are going to see uh, the things related with the variables so now i am jumping to the uh, lab sessions for this particular uh, variables related part two video okay so this is my aws instance okay we don't have any any this instance currently running and here you can see the count meta data argument okay so meta argument we are the count we are we going to use why we are going to use so if you see my uh, and the uh, visual studio code so there is one changes that i rename it to the variable 2 okay rest all the things uh, is exactly same as per the last video if you didn't refer my video then you can uh, have a look on the my past video on the variables okay and for the rest of the concerns regarding what is the state backup what is the TFS state file? What is the pro uh, versioning of the uh, uh, Terraform or provider? You can refer to my previous video regarding the log also. So in I discussed all the things in uh, much more details about it. Okay, so this is the variable, and here we are referring all the variables. That variables are kept inside it. Okay. So if you look into the um, uh, variables related things, you can see that for the instance, I use the variables AMIRD and instance type, but the code is, is exactly same and we are repeating it three times, okay, to create the uh, AWS instance. So what we are going to do in this particular video, using the count uh, meta argument, we are going to sort it, okay. So let me comment it out. So we are going to uh, do exactly the same things, but in a simplest way. So I'm going to comment it. Let me save it as well. Okay, and now I'm going to the uh, the dot Hasicop uh, Terraform document site. Here you can see that we can use the count uh, and meta argument for the resources as well. So this is exactly the copy the course of code of uh, piece I am going to use. I'm copying it, uh, these things and I'm going to use it uh, in my editor here. I'm going to save, save it, okay? Let me remove the comment part as well, okay? So what it's going to do, it's going to create a four instance, okay? But our requirement is to create the uh, three to make it uh, exactly same. So I'm I'm marking it as a three, okay? And the AMI ID, because I've already created a variable for the AMI ID, I'm going to use it the same. Okay? Copy it and use it here, the AMI ID related things. And the instance type, we already have the variable define and all the variable you can find it here okay so when we go to the terraform uh, we are going to modify it with the variable that we use for the instance type okay regarding the, um, the server we are going to use the same name okay this is the same name that i am going to use to make the things exactly same in a different way okay and uh, the count index it will pick from zero this time we are using uh, because index start from the zero and we start it from the one so it will pick uh, the index from zero one two for three instance uh, the instance the, uh, the name will be tagged as uh, zero one and two my ec2 dash zero one and two okay so these things is again the hard coded so i have to convert into the variables so i'm going to the variable here okay and just copy it and paste it here so in this uh, i am using the instance count variable name as instance count i'm going to copy it and use it okay i saved the file and in the variable i am going to use var dot instance count okay now i'm going to save it as well and when we run it in the terraform so you can see that i am currently in the this is uh, in the c terraform folder okay so terraform uh, 
in it just to initialize it after that we will run the data for validate so that to check that, that there is no any uh, syntax uh, error we don't have need to use the format we are going to apply um, run the plan for plan this time i am not uh, using any cli overriding related things we will look into it later okay. so there is some problem uh, with the the ap southeast one okay so what we did we have to change the in the it the code we which we hard coded here uh, if you look into the code for the variable let me save it okay so instance count we 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 have to change it because um, it's taking ap south one so, so we have to change it to with value value three okay so that's why it's raising the problem in the validate they didn't complain but when we apply uh, execute the plan it's complained okay so i save the changes and now i am going to run the plan again i oh, hope it will run perfectly fine so the, it's going to add three instance three resources and you can see the the name of the third instance is my ec2 2 okay it start from zero and the instance type is large if you go scroll up a little and you can find that the instance okay here you can find that the aws instance have the large instance and the, the name of the is my ec2 this is the first instance okay now i'm going to override it with the two um, uh, variables okay the, uh, previously we seen the overriding of the one variable in this, in this video i'm going to override with the three variables okay <clears throat> terraform plan pair and what we are going to override go to the variables uh, this time the instance type we are going to use this one just copy it and pasting it here with t2 micro we have a, a default variable of t2 dot dot large t2 dot what micro okay and again one more uh, variable so in this video we will see how many uh, we can uh, uh, override through the cl commands as much variables uh, as it requires just not to use the default one just override it as per your requirement in which environment you are deploying your uh, terraform plan uh, and terraform apply as well okay so for second i am going to use uh, aws instance like this one okay and uh, i am overriding it with that um, means you can say one instance i am not overriding with the so it will create uh, only one instance okay so let's copy it paste it here with one okay so this is the plan this will not going to create any um, any resources in the aws we will see it later how we can do it so you can see the it's uh, overrided uh, the default value with one and this is the name of the instance and the type is uh, t2 micro whatever we have in the default in the default we have uh, t2 dot large but with, through the cli command we override both the things this one okay and this one default is to create the three instance i override it with uh, to create a single instance okay this is the first thing and um, you can uh, you can execute uh, this with the apply also okay so if you want to apply the ch similar changes you can override it so the changes will be get reflected into into the aws environment but i am not going to apply it i, I will go generate the output the plan uh, for the terraform i am creating mentioning it as a no so apply is now cancelled now what i am going to do uh, I am, I am going to generate this plan because 
this is the um, uh, the scenario when we are overriding two variables but we have the scenario like uh, we are overriding um, 10 or 20 variables so uh, putting all the things in the copy paste or might be there is a typo that you applied into the environment so better to save it in a file and whenever it's required you can apply it into the environment so we are going to generate the the plan okay okay so i am what i am going to do i am going to generate the plan terraform plan okay the rest thing will be same and here we are going to mention it as a output out as my plan so we will keep this plan in a in a file the extension the extension will be the plan okay so it will create a file and i will show you the file when it's get created so we don't have to write each times to override all the things so you can see that my plan gets overrided okay? I mean, uh, generated, and here you have the plan. Okay, previously you don't have, and this is the in the binary format, so it's not understandable by means um, human being. So it's uh, to just to understand, uh, make understand the terraform. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to now execute it. Uh, th this plan we are going to apply it so in this way it will it will be auto approval. So whenever you execute the plan with the uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, command data for okay apply and what is the name of my plan is my plan dot plan okay so it will not ask you for any confirmations it will go and create the instance okay so so whatever we created we are just override it with the one uh, instance to create because if in default we have how many instance in default we have three instance but we have a right to create one instance and also the default is t2 large but we in the plan we uh, generated with the for the instance t2 micro to, to be created okay so once it is uh, successful so apply get successful the plan that i created and this plan you can use in uh, several times like you have the complex plan and you created generated the file and that you can use uh, for the one for the development environment one for the staging environment and one for the production environment so this is the quickest uh, way to without changing anything in the plan in the, anything in the terraform file you can just execute the plan that you saved uh, as a customized okay so if you look into the aws so we have definitely have some running instance so you can see that the instance now gets created so this is the things that um, you need to understand that how we can generate the plan and how the count meta arguments work and how you can apply it so now it's uh, time to how we can destroy it when we created a resource so it's a very simple uh, similar way you can you have to write the data for destroy and it will ask you for the confirmations because um, this is a simple command i didn't pass the auto approve so it will definitely ask for my our confirmations okay so it's refreshing the instance and it will um, uh, pulling the plan uh, again and uh, it's asking for the confirmations i provided the confirmations and now it's going to destroy the uh, instance that created through the plan so this is uh, guys for this particular um, session and in next section we will see how we can handle the variables related things with the environment variables and tf variables is also coming so i keep on um, uploading the videos related with the terraform in a systematic order so you have the better clarity so if you didn't watch my previous video just uh, have a look into it so you can see that uh, it's still destroying but we can see that the instance is now destroyed from the aws environment okay so we don't have any running in instance so you can see the running instance is zero so if you guys like my video please subscribe to my channel this uh, will uh, definitely motivates me to keep uh, doing uh, a good job and uh, I try to bring you a new video time to time. Uh, so gives me a thumbs up and share with you with your friends also. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.